What you can do with this kind of door is really reinforce the strength of your door. I've seen a lot of these big houses here, giant, huge mansions with a ton of windows and a tiny little door. <laughs> this is really bad in Vastu, and it's weird looking. A tiny door where the windows even are bigger than the door means a couple of things. The door is like the first house of your horoscope. It is your lagna. If your door is weak, everything else is weak. It means you will feel weak inside this house. You will feel overwhelmed by this house. The windows represent children. So if you have kids, those kids will be stronger than you. They'll get their way. You won't be able to be the parent that you want to be. A house like this in which the windows are to the right side. Um, Diane? As we walk into your house, are the windows to the right or to the left? To the left. All the windows are to the left, right? Two windows to the left. Correct. I asked this because I remember saying the first time I went to your place, I said, was it to you that I mentioned it? No, it was maybe, was it? I said, only women live in this house. Oh, yeah. Because... The windows represent the people who dwell in the house. And if all the windows are to the left, the left is the female. Right is the male. If there are only windows to the right, it's mostly males living in that house. That house has a character, and it attracts men, or it attracts women. So, lots of windows means it attracts a lot of inhabitants. And specifically, if the windows are larger or looming over the door and you see this wimpy little door, then the owner of that house has no control over the inhabitants. So you want a powerful door, especially if you have a huge house like this. Make it a giant regal door that says a king lives here, a strong lugna lives here, and there are steps, so you have to step up to get to the door. Wow. Just like a palace, you have to step up and you're looking up as you go in. So if you have a door, let's say a regular old door, and you're, you're facing a septic tank or you're facing something that is not desirable, reinforce that door. You know in feng shui those lions that you have? With scary lions or dogs, those dogs. Or a statue of Hanumanji or something that represents strength and protection facing out. It could be columns that accentuate the door, but something that creates a sense of awe and presence and strength. Another nice remedy is to have a sun on top of the door, radiating and shining out. This is a strong door now. So even if it started wimpy by being small, you can create strength around it. In astrology, if you have a horoscope that has benefic planets around your ascendant, it's like having these two guys around your door. They are, they've got your back. It's a very good combination in astrology. 